all-star cast combines forces for a remake of a 1969 cult classic. Stay tuned, here's the Italian job. A team of criminals gather up for one final heist, a plan known to them as the Italian job. I'm going to get a NAT-T770 digital decoder with 70 watt amps and Burr Brown DACs. Yeah. It's a big stereo. Speakers so loud they blow women's clothes off. For the next 45 minutes, we own this place. Let's go. A job that later proves that there's no honor among thieves. What the hell are you doing? I made a few plans of my own. I found him, Stella. He's in Los Angeles. You want to start the game up again? That's fine with me. Mark Wahlberg is the alpha dog of this crew, which includes Sharice Theron, Ed Norton, Seth Green, Jason Statham, Most Def, and Donald Sutherland, under the eye of video director and occasional actor F. Gary Gray. My aim with this movie was to tie the actors in to the action. Because with action pictures, you normally see stuntmen do the work, and then you cut to the actors safely in their car. So I said, you know what? This is going to be a different action movie. This is going to be a movie where you know that our actors are out there doing their stunts. Real actors doing real stunts is a clever hook, but that's about the only thing original about this movie. The Italian Job is a remake of a little-known Michael Caine film, but it really owes its inspiration to another remake. Oh, it wants to be Ocean's Eleven so bad with its cast of oddball characters and complicated plot. But where Ocean's Eleven felt funny and smart, the Italian Job only falls flat. It's surrounded by a good cast of actors who, well, honestly look pretty bored. But make no mistake, the real stars of this film are a trio of Mini Coopers that steal the show. We have this one sequence where the cars drive up the sidewalk, down the Walk of Fame, down the stairs into the Metro Tunnel, and off onto the tracks. Only the Minis can do it. You couldn't do it with a Suburban or with a big SUV, and that's what makes the cars so special. There hasn't been product placement this heavy since Herbie the Love Bug. Aside from some interesting car chases, this is old and familiar territory for movie fans. The Italian Job gets two out of four stars and is now playing in area theaters. If you're looking for more expanded reviews, you can find that at KQ2.com. You just need to look for the front row icon. Join us again next week for more new releases right here on the front row. I'm Bob Schultz for KQ2.